Hello everyone, this is Mohammed. and welcome to the Sumo tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna give you a guideline on Sumo, a traffic simulation software that's a very popular and user-friendly traffic simulation tool used by so many researchers and practitioners in the, in the traffic and transportation domain. So let's get started. This tutorial comprises of several parts, uh, starting with an introduction about traffic simulation in general and Sumo in particular. Then we'll learn how to install Sumo and understand some fundamental structures in Sumo. Uh, in the next video, uh, you'll learn how to create a network topology and more importantly, import the traffic network from other file formats. Um, then. Um, then we'll go to traffic demand generation, how to generate the different modes of transportation uh, within the network. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the fifth video, I think, yeah, in the fifth video, uh, we'll, uh, we'll spend some time on, on the traffic light context, you know, how to create a signalized intersection or modify the existing uh, traffic light and I think traffic lights uh, play an important role in the in the, uh, in the traffic network performance so it's worth spend some time on this context and finally we we'll learn how to run a simulation and extract your desired outputs but before diving to sumo let's understand what the traffic simulation is and uh, what is the what is it what it is used for um, the traffic simulation or simulation of transportation systems is a is is the mathematical modeling of uh, transportation systems through the application of uh, you know computer softwares <clears throat> to better help you know plan design and operate transportation systems uh, by transportation systems, I mean, you know, freeway junctions, arterial routes, roundabouts, or downtown grid systems, you know, sort of things like that in the traffic network. Um, simulation of transportation systems started over 40 years ago and is an important area of discipline in, 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 in traffic engineering and uh, transportation planning. Um, Actually, various national and local transportation agencies, uh, academic institutions, and some related consulting firms use simulation, you know, to to aid in their management of transportation networks. Uh, to understand simulation, it is important to understand the concept of system state. Um, the system state is a set of variables that you know that contains enough information to to describe the evolution of the system over time. Um, take the speed of a vehicle, for example. The speed can fluctuate in different times and positions within the simulation. Um, traffic simulation models are classified according to being uh, you know being discrete or continuous in time, state, and space. Um, traffic simulation models are useful from a uh, macroscopic, microscopic, and sometimes uh, mesoscopic perspectives. Uh, the macroscopic models consider the aggregate behavior of traffic flow, while microscopic models consider the interaction of individual vehicles. Um, simulation can be applied to both transportation planning and transportation design and operations. For example, in transportation planning, the simulation models evaluate the impacts of regional urban development patterns on the performance of the transportation infrastructure. Okay, now let's see what is Sumo. Uh, simulation of Urban Mobility, or Sumo for short, is a software tool you know, being developed by the DLR, the Institute of Transportation Systems of the Federal Republic of Germany in Berlin. Um, Sumo is an open source, highly portable, microscopic, multimodal, and continuous road traffic simulation package you know, designed to handle large road networks. Um, the microscopic simulation means each vehicle is modeled explicitly <clears throat> I'm sorry, has an own route and moves individually through the network. And by multimodal, I mean there are a large variety of traffic modes, like, uh, for example, you can simulate any type of uh, vehicles, uh, like public transportation, passenger cars, trucks, or even pedestrians and persons. 
Um, Sumo uses its own file formats for traffic networks, but uh, it is able to import maps, uh, you know, encoded in many public available formats like OpenStreetMap, Visum or Visim or I don't know QGIS, sort of things like that. Um, Sumo implemented in C++ and uses only portable libraries. Um, actually, there is an extensive documentation about Sumo on their web page available at this link. Um, you can find any detailed information regarding Sumo, but believe me, you can you don't have to understand all the details, and you know it depending on your you know task or project you may search and learn your you know your desired piece of information um, actually i have to admit that this documentation might uh, seems a little bit scary for for the beginner users so this tutorial provides an introduction to you know to those researchers and students interested in using sumo as their research simulation tool but they do not have the time and do not want uh, the burden to browse the many web pages in, in, it, in this website. Uh, actually, the major information and instruction in, in these videos can be also found on, the, on these web pages. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna cover all the context and details within the website, but, you know, because it contains a vast information that some of them might be out of the scope of these videos or are more advanced um, but don't worry you learn gradually how to have to seek your desired piece of information within the website and accomplish your task or project so please uh, do not ignore this documentation and try to validate my instructions by checking the documentation website subsequently well uh, What's the application of Sumo? To date, there has been a lot of research projects conducted in Sumo, you know, trying to answer a large variety of research questions. Among these questions, Sumo was used to, you know, you know, Sumo was used to evaluate the performance of traffic lights. Uh, you know, the vehicle route choice dy dynamics has been investigated. Uh, Sumo also was used to, you know, support, you know, simulated uh, in-vehicle telephony behavior, you know, for for traffic su surveillance purposes. Also, Sumo is widely used by the uh, vehicle to everything or V2X community for both providing realistic vehicle traces and for, you know, for evaluating applications in an online loop with with a network simulator. And finally, Sumo was used to provide traffic forecasts for authorities. For example, uh, uh, in the city of Cologne, I think in Italy, uh, during the pub's visit in 2005, Sumo was used to you know, forecast the traffic. Okay, uh, this is the end of the first video. Uh, you've become familiar with the, with, the, with the traffic simulation and Sumo in particular. Uh, in the next video, uh, you'll learn Sumo installation process and understand the fundamentals and basic definitions regarding Sumo. So until the next session, take care.